Sorry, just on Martial, he obviously scored again tonight. He's not, I think it was only his second start this season, but he, he would look, he's probably the best finisher you have. So is he key to you having a winning season, him staying fit? Yes, definitely, yeah. In the front line, huh? um, the availability from the players, that is a concern huh? for us. And we had so many games like Newcastle United, Marcus Rashford ill, huh? reported himself ill. Um, we had to play some, some other games that we have to really have to um, do improvisation to construct a proper offensive line. And so if we can't do that, yeah, then it's really difficult to get into the first four when I mean, you don't have the players uh, to construct a proper offensive line. He, he, he has been injured previously, in previous seasons. Is, it, is there a concern there that, it's obviously not his fault, but that you know, there's some underlying issue maybe with regard to him staying fit? Yeah, it's, uh, of course, eh, um, uh, we analyse that as well. Uh, he's analysing that as, as well. Eh? And what can we do to change that? And we also, we made some measures uh, to, to do that. And so, um, so it is always when you are that often, uh, you are into uh, yeah, injuries, illnesses or what else, huh? there is a reason, huh, whatever. And uh, you have to fight up. But sometimes it's also just bad luck. Huh? And uh, I think it was, he was really in a good way. And then the last 10 minutes in Atletico Madrid, he caught that injury and that throw, throws him, uh, threw him really back. So happy he's now back and I hope he will, he will manage it and that he stay fit because, as you said, um, like others, but he is an important part from this squad. Eric, what do you think about Fulham? Obviously, they came close to a result at Manchester City. They appear to be a better team than they were when they were last in the Premier League. So what do you think about what you're facing at the weekend? Oh, God, that it's going to be a really tough game. and. Um, I think in the Premier League everything very close, but what I have seen from Fulham so far is really energetic. Uh, a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, also play really decent football uh, out from the back. I remember the game against Liverpool, start of the season. Uh, and so you have to be really good there to get a result. So uh, we have to do everything what is in our power to get the, the right result. And uh, that is what we're preparing now. Have we seen the best of Man United since you took over? Today? Have we seen the best of, of United in, in any game? Uh, I think we played some, some more good games huh, than, than only tonight. Huh? Um, but I think what we, what we need is consistency. And, um, and from consistency, of course, we want to bring the consistency on a higher level. Uh, Eric, there's, there's some debate about how Maguire's form of match fitness going to the World Cup, but in your opinion, do you feel he's ready? If he's ready? Harry Maguire, there's been some debate about yeah. his form of match fitness. In your opinion, do you feel he's ready? I think so, that he's ready. Uh, I see him every day training. I see his games. I think he's, um, he's, uh, he, uh, he came back from injury, but he's ready uh, to perform on the highest level. Okay, um, from the start of the, the season or pre-season to this break now, how would you rate what Manchester United have done? Have you got as far as you thought you would, not as far, maybe a bit further? Where, where would you say Manchester United are? Oh, I, must say I, I hoped that we, were where, that we were here where we are now, huh? but uh, it came better is to ask me the question after Sunday. Sunday is going to be a really, I uh, think, important game. But if you see, if you look into the progress, but I think so one of the conclusions you already can make, that is, uh, what I said just for a question from Jamie about uh, the front line, that is a concern. Uh, and I think we, um, I think we really made progress in football. Uh, uh, pressing, play out from the back, uh, also attacking, but the final third, that game we have to improve, but then you have to be um, uh, numbers available. And also when we have to cover so many games, then you need rotation. Uh, otherwise you don't keep the players fresh. And so we need the players who are available for and, and on the highest level. Uh, so we need high level players 
uh, in their front line. Is that new players or the players that you've already got you need to be fit or both? Both. Um, but first look in, in our squad and I think so we are happy. Uh, we, we talked a, lo a lot now about Canaccio but yeah, that is the question. Can he stay in this development? Can he keep that line, uh, that, that pattern uh, from improving? And then he can contribute and I think yeah, that will be really a uh, contribution to the squad because we need that and we need that the numbers. Is, um, is Cristiano available for Sunday and also how will you manage the squad on Sunday because the players who have been picked in World Cup squads, it's maybe only natural that they've got one eye on playing for their national teams in less than sort of seven days time at the World Cup. I think the players are all aware from the importance from the game if against Fulham and I will not uh, take the World Cup in regard. Uh, we play the best team. Uh, to, till Sunday, it's the interest for Manchester United and only the interest for Manchester United. I, I can't guarantee that now, but he was uh, today ill, so he can recover from that. It's not uh, a really serious illness from what takes days or weeks, so I think it's possible that he's available for Sunday and that he will be in the squad. Just, just going back to Anthony Marshall, Eric, you, you had a good pre-season with him. Is it safe to say that he's your main starting striker when he is available? And do you see a benefit of it that he won't be going to the World Cup with France and that you've got more time with him than he can train with you? Um, definitely, he plays very well eh, in a uh, lot of uh, uh, aspects of football. <laughs> I, I'm happy with that, except his availability. Hey, clear, but I think we have also others. I think when we played with uh, Marcus Rashford as the nine, and we also had a good part of the game. So we have more options. We have Cristiano Ronaldo, so we have more options there. Um, but quite clear, uh, yeah, in my uh, way of play, I like a type as um, Anthony Marshall is, and because uh, um, he can hold the ball, and so he's a target. He can link up, and but he can also run behind. Um, he has speed. He can finish, and he's a good presser. Mr. James, you gave, you, get, you, you gave another chance to Donny van de Beek tonight, Eric, and he, he struggled again. Do you, is it going to get to the point where questions have to be asked about whether he's got the suitability to play with the physicality and the pace that English football sort of presents to play? Yeah. <laughs> I, I see the opinion, but when I watch back the performance in Sociedad and also in, um, in Villa, um, yeah, he's there in the positions what I expect a number 10 has to do. And nowadays, 10 is really difficult um, to, to uh, really show themselves. Right? If we have the romantic idea from the number 10, who is the playmaker and giving the final passes, uh, if they have to play in the middle of the park, that's really difficult there because nowadays all the good teams close the middle of the park. So it's really difficult to get there a lot of ball touches. Um, so uh, that is not, that's also not the player who Donny van der Beek is, but what he is doing well is um, his positioning um, and his movements in togetherness with strikers, uh, especially with the number nine. That combination uh, is really good in positioning and in anticipation, in and out of position. And uh, he did it uh, to my satisfaction in the last games. But I have seen, uh, after, uh, he's not on the scoring list, he's not on the assist list, clear. And uh, he can do better. Um, yeah, I think he's still not there um, on his limits. Uh, I've seen him better uh, in the past, definitely. But I think, uh, yeah, positioning wise, uh, he's acting quite well. But yeah, he has to make that step, and that's what I agree with, with pace and intensity. You, you've obviously only got the Fulham game now until you resume at Christmas. Do, do you expect Donny to see the season out with you? You don't expect him to go out and loan or look at the in January. You expect him to finish the season with you? I don't think the loan doesn't make sense. Huh? It's uh, either uh, he fights himself and he proves himself uh, in this atmosphere, in this environment, uh, or he goes, but for me, uh, there's there's still uh, a way for him. There's still a perspective for him, but not going to be easy because 
the uh, say the competition there is really strong. Okay, last, last two, uh, Carl and the back. Mr. Tanak, uh, you just spoke about you're really happy to see players make their international teams. I want to discuss Jaden Sancho, who wasn't selected for England. Um, he's ill again. What are you making of his first half season under you so far? It was up and down. And when he, uh, some really good performances, and I think he was in a good direction, but the last weeks, yeah, he was he struggled uh, with with illness, and then it's I think uh, then it's uh, normal that you don't get the nomination for it eh? because I think every manager will take only fit players into the World Cup. Uh, can I also ask Diogo Dallo suspended for Fulham? Um, who is your? I want to talk about two for players. I haven't featured too much. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, your other right back, and Brandon Williams, who can play there. How have they been getting on in, in the last? Four or five months on the Not that well, uh, because uh, Brendan wasn't available. Hey, bad injury, and he really struggles. But he's in the right direction. He's in a good way. He's back on the pitch, and he will return in team training. Um, yeah, uh, next week, uh, he will go with us in training camp to Cadiz. He will there be available for the for the team. So happy, happy for him. So that's good to know. Aaron Van Bissaka, yeah, he struggles um, as well, uh, but in different um, different side. Yeah, he had some some injuries, some illnesses. Um, so was also often not available, but doesn't have a real big problem. So yeah, it's about him to get really fit and to make competition with Diogo uh, for the second season of. Last one at the back. Eric, um, about Anthony, is there any chance of him getting fit for Sunday or it's an injury that needs more day to work? We, we work on that, but I can't confirm that he will be in the squad for Sunday. But um, he, he made progress last days and uh, we will see tomorrow, Saturday, if, he's, uh, if he will be available for the, for the team for Sunday.